Okay, previously, Miss ada ajar macam mana kamu nak tulis electronic configuration untuk sesebuah atom kan? So, kalau kamu tengok dekat example yang pertama, macam mana kamu nak tulis electronic configuration of Mg? Mg adalah magnesium. Okay, kalau soalan dia tak bagi tahu um, dia nak method pertama ke kedua, you know that electronic configuration untuk tulis electronic configuration, you ada dua method. Yang pertama ialah SPDF notation. Yang kedua adalah atomic orbital. So, kalau soalan tak specify, you boleh choose either two of um, these methods. So, for example, if let's say Miss nak gunakan SPDF notation in this case, I could tetap kena follow the rules, okay? So, first of all, first thing first, you kena cari the number of electrons untuk sesebuah atom tersebut. If let's say uh, atom yang di dalam case ini adalah magnesium. Macam mana you tahu magnesium ada 12 elektron? Uh, you tahu sebab you kena look up magnesium, you kena cari magnesium dekat periodic table of element, you will know that magnesium ada atomic number. Atomic number tu apa? The number of proton. Dia ada atomic number equal to 12. Okay, so kalau if let's say you ada neutral atom, this is a neutral atom. If you have a neutral atom here, the number of electrons will be the same with the atomic number. Okay, so if you nak tahu neutral atom tu punya electron, the atomic number dia will just be the same as the electron number. Okay, so untuk tahu electron number for a neutral atom, Tengok saja atomic number dia ya. So in this case, magnesium ada atomic number equal to 12. Therefore, it has 12 electrons. Next ialah ha, isi elektron. Kalau you nak isi elektron, tak kisahlah melalui SPDF ke atomic orbital ke. You still need to fill it in by using Aufbau principle. Okay. So, secondly, fill up your electrons with Aufbau principle. Aufbau principle cakap apa? Aufbau said that you need to fill the electrons in the lowest energy level first, which is 1s, and then you level up 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, and so on. Okay? So, you know, kalau s, it can just occupy sebanyak 2 electrons saja. But, you ada 12 electrons. So, if let's say you fill dekat 1s, tak cukup tu sebab ada 2 electrons. So, you are kena isi 10 electron. So, you pinjam energy level sebelah. Lagi 2. So, sekarang baru 4. So, you pindah, pinjam lagi uh, energy level dekat sebelah. You pinjam berapa? You pinjam 6. Baru 10 electron. You need uh, 12. So, baki 2 lah kan. So, that's why you pinjam lagi energy level sebelah. Yang maximum number of electron ni adalah 2. So, 2 campur 2, 4 campur 6, 10 campur 2, 12 elektron. Okay, so you hanya isi elektron you sampai 3S je in this case. Okay, so therefore, when you want to write down um, the electron, the electronic configuration by using the SPDF notation, it will be something like this, okay. It will be something like this, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Okay, you just isi je bilangan elektron di atas energy level, um, di atas subshell tersebut. Or, you boleh um, write it down dalam bentuk macam ni. Dalam bentuk macam ni sahaja. Ha. Dalam kurungan, dalam kurungan tajam ni, Ne, 3s2. Why? Because actually, Ne, dia punya SPDF dia equals to 10. Ne, neon. Neon ke noble gas. So, Ne, dia ada 10 elektron. Okay. Um, so, you boleh letak abbreviated dia as um, noble gas. Apa noble gas yang terdekat, nearest noble gas, which is in this case, Ne, neon, yang terdekat dengan magnesium dalam period table of element. So, you know that neon ada 10 elektron. So, you letak sahaja di sini. Because you know that neon ada 10. Uh, 3S2 campurkan dengan 2. So, you have 
some major 12 electron. So it's either you write down dalam bentuk begini or you can pendekkan 1SO2, SO2, P6 tu by writing it down dalam bentuk uh, kurungan Ne and then 3S2. Tapi it's highly advisable untuk you buat panjang-panjang, okay? Supaya senang examiner nak cari um, jawapan. Alright, next ialah what are the possible quantum numbers for the last electron in CL or the outermost shell in CL? So, you kena tahu dulu. CL ada berapa elektron? CL kalau according to its atomic number, CL ada 17 atomic number. Therefore, CL akan ada 17 electrons. Next, bila you fill melalui alpha principle, uh, you can start from 1s up until 4s. So, 1s you boleh muatkan 2 elektron saja. You nak 17, jadi tak muat, you kena pinjam sebelah, pinjam 2 elektron kat sebelah. Baru 4, Tak cukup, pinjam 6 elektron kat sebelah, tak cukup, pinjam lagi sebelah, 2 elektron, baru 12 elektron je. So, you tak cukup lagi 5, so you pinjam uh, energy level sebelah sebanyak 5 elektron. Okay, sebab P boleh muat 6 elektron. Therefore, when you write the SPDF notation untuk CL, you will get um, this kind of electronic configuration which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p5. Kalau ikutkan memang total 17 elektron lah. Tapi soalan nak possible quantum numbers untuk outermost shell in CL. So siapa outermost shell? 3, 3s, uh, 3s ke 3p? 3p lah yang paling last. Okay. So this will be the outermost shell in Chlorine, which is at 3p. Okay, 3p. So, dia suruh kamu write the uh, possible quantum numbers untuk 3p. So, 3p, you know that the n will be equals to 3. Okay, you dapat p because your subshell L equals to 1. So, when L equals to 1, M will be from negative L until positive L. And your spin quantum number will always be, is either positive half or negative half. Next example, state the electronic configurations and an orbital diagram for sulfur atom and oxygen ion O2 minus. Okay. So, kat sini, that means this will come to this electronic configuration dalam bentuk SPDF notation and also orbital diagram. So, how do you want to start this with? Okay, since this is electronic configuration, jadinya you kenalah tahu electron number untuk atom yang kamu kena cari. Okay, so, sulfur dia ada atomic number equals to 16, oxygen ada atomic number equals to 8. But wait, sulfur atom is a neutral atom. Bila dia neutral atom, makanya the electron number electron number untuk sulfur atom since it's a neutral atom, it will just be the same as the atomic number. Okay, Z ni adalah proton number atau atomic number. So, it's sulfur atom. The electron number dia sama je lah dengan atomic number dia which is dia ada 16 electrons. Okay. Oxygen dalam soalan ni dia bagi oxygen ion which is O2 minus. Okay. So the electron number untuk oxygen ion O2 minus takkan sama. It will not be the same as atomic number. Atomic number of Oxygen kan equals to 8. Since dia adalah ion O2 minus, maka elektron number dia berubah. Kenapa berubah? Okay. Because dia dah tak neutral dah. Macam mana you dapat sign 2 minus here? It's because kalau atom tu terjadi ion, sebab sama ada dia donate atau accept elektron kan. Tapi kalau let's say specifically dia ada charge 2 minus is because dia accept elektron. So dia accept sebanyak berapa elektron? 2 elektron. Makanya 
the, uh, the electron number dia akan jadi atomic number dia kan 8 campur kena campurkan dengan 2 so therefore uh, for O2 minus um, dia punya electron number dia adalah 10 electron ok uh, sebab dia bukanlah neutral atom dia adalah dia ion so bila ion 2 minus dia accept 2 electron kan so proton number 8 campurkan je lah dengan elektron yang ditambah tu which is therefore uh, elektron number untuk O2 minus adalah sebanyak 10 elektron ok so let's build up the SPDF notation untuk O2 minus Kalau you nak build up SPDF notation ke or orbital diagram ke is or you always have to follow the first rule which is ikut akbau principal. Akbau principal cakap kena isi daripada lowest energy level 1s and move to 2s, 2p, 3s and so on. Okay, since O2 minus ada 10 electron, okay, ada 10 electron, therefore you isi dekat 1s dahulu. So, you tahu dekat 1S, you boleh isi 2 elektron, tapi tak cukup. You tak cukup lagi 8. Pinjam energy level sebelah, which you can isi up until 2 elektron. So, 2 campur 2, 4. Tak cukup lagi, 6. So, you kena pinjam energy level sebelah, P. P kan maksimum 6 elektron. So, cukup sudah 10 elektron. Therefore, when you want to write the SPDF notation for O2 minus, it will be 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. Okay, and for sulfur atom, since sulfur ada 16 electrons, okay, we know that oxygen 2 minus ada 10 electron kan. So, untuk kalau you malas nak tulis um, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4, you can just um, pendekkan dia by using this uh, electronic configuration of O2 minus and sambung sahaja tu yang the rest, yang remain the rest because you tahu O2 minus ada 10 electron so re the remaining will be 3S2 3P4 ok tapi as what I told you I lagi suka kalau let's say you tulis SPDF notation untuk S panjang-panjang macam ni uh, biar kamu senang nampak. Okay. Next, macam mana nak lukis orbital diagram for each of them? Okay, nak lukis orbital diagram untuk O2 minus. Since you dah tahu dia punya SPDF notation, senang lah. Okay, you lukis saja platform 1S. Oh, sorry. Platform ni tak cantik, tak straight. Lukis saja platform untuk 1S. 1S ada satu saja platform kan? Sebab S Hanyalah ada satu di general orbital 2s, satu juga di general orbital 2p, ada tiga di general orbital And next, bila you nak isi di elektron, kena ikut Hans rule And also Pauli exclusion principle Hans rule cakap dalam satu di general orbital boleh isi dua saja elektron Itu uh, uh, Pauli, Pauli cakap Dalam satu degree orbital, boleh isi dua elektron. If let's say you ada multiple orbitals, like in P orbital, you can ikut Hans rule. Hans rule cakap apa? Isi dulu single, baru pairkan the elektron. Okay, uh, so cukuplah sini. You can see that 1s ada dua elektron, 2s2, 2p6. Next, if let's say I nak isi, uh, I nak lukis atomic orbital untuk S, I know that I can easy start from 1S and then 2S, 2P, ada 3, 3S. S ada satu atomic orbital and then 3P. Okay, the way I easy dia, I ikut Pauli exclusion principle dahulu untuk 1S dan 2S ni. Okay. 2P, I, sebabkan dia P orbital, ada multiple orbitals, I can ikut Pauli exclusion principle. Isi single dulu, baru pairkan dia elektron. 3S ikut Pauli, 3P ikut Pauli and also Hans Ruh. Hans Ruh cakap isi single dahulu, baru pairkan dia up. Okay, since 
the bila you isi SPDF notation for sulfur atom, you know that you need four electrons. Therefore, untuk 3P, atomic orbital pun you isi empat saja. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. That's all. Okay, the next ialah try this question. Alright. Cuba tulis electronic configuration dalam bentuk SPDF notation and also orbital diagram untuk atom yang tertera. For example, if you have C. C adalah carbon atom. Carbon atom, okay, kalau let's say you nak tulis electronic configuration ke orbital diagram, the first step ialah kenal pasti dia punya electron number. Okay, if it's an atom, therefore you know that it is neutral. So when it is neutral, Therefore, the electron number will be just the same as the proton number atau atomic number. So, if you look at um, periodic table of element, you will know that the carbon atom, dia ada atomic number um, sebanyak 6. Okay, therefore, the electron number untuk carbon ialah 6 electrons juga. Okay. Alright, so, bila you nak isi uh, electronic configuration, tak kisahlah ikut SPDF notation ke ataupun orbital diagram, you must remember to uh, fill in the electron by using the three rules, okay? Which the first rule always start with the Avau principle. Okay, Avau cakap isi dulu dekat lowest energy level. And then move up to the highest energy level. For example, carbon ada 6 electron. So, you isi, uh, so dia punya uh, energy level dia up until 2p2. From 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So, bila you nak um, assign the electron di dalam orbital diagram, tulis siap-siap dalam bentuk box ke platform sama saja. Asalkan you tahu this box ataupun uh, this box belongs to 1s. Uh, this box belongs to 2s and this 3 box belongs to 2p. Okay, so dekat 1s, you perlukan 2 elektron. 2s, you perlukan 2 elektron. 2p, you perlukan 2 elektron. Kalau ikutkan Hans rule. Hans rule cakap kalau you ada multiple, kalau you ada multiple um, multiple orbitals like this, you need to fill up the electron singly first. Okay, single spin baru pair up. Okay, so sebabkan 2P2 saja, so dia jadi macam ni saja. ya. Okay, next lah N. N adalah nitrogen. Nitrogen ada sebanyak berapa elektron? Kalau tengokkan dekat periodic table of element, nitrogen dia punya atomic number or proton number dia adalah um, 7. So, nitrogen akan ada 7 elektrons. Okay. So, if let's say you nak buat SPDF notation untuk nitrogen atom, it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So, 2 campur 2, 4 campur 3, 7 kan. Next, if you nak lukis orbital diagram untuk nitrogen atom, so, kalau kat atas ni miss buat dalam bentuk kotak. Kalau nitrogen ni miss nak buat platform lah. So, 1s ada satu platform, 2s ada satu saja platform, 2p akan ada tiga platform because... P orbital ada tiga degenerate orbitals. Alright. And let's start fill this up. 1s ada dua elektron. 2s ada dua elektron. 2p hanya ada tiga elektron. So, cara nak isi elektron dekat 2p kena ikut Hans rule. Sebab Hans rule cakap isi single elektron dulu baru pairkan them up. Okay, untuk seterusnya, I would like you to try this out. Okay. Try buat untuk oksigen, fluorin and also neon. So, Miss dah bagi hint dah electronic configuration dia ni. Miss dah bagi hint dia punya electron numbers for each of these atoms. So, what you need to do ialah you just buat saja orbital diagram untuk oksigen, um, fluorin and also neon. And I will check it out time tutorial nanti ya. Next example, um... Atau try this too. The first question, disuruh kamu draw electrons in boxes diagram of the electronic configuration of titanium with um, symbol Ti dengan atomic number dia equals to 22. 
B, write the cross the electronic configuration for TI and TI2 plus ion. Alright. So, bila soalan cakap electrons in boxes, it is, it is as if disuruh kamu um, buat electronic configuration of TI in atomic orbital. Okay. Either way, nak buat atomic yang B pula, buat in SPDF notation. Either way, you need to follow the rules. Okay. The three rules yang Miss dah bagi tahu tadi. So, the first one ialah follow the above principle. Okay, so our principle cakap kalau you nak isi the electron, isi daripada lowest energy level, 1s up until 5s. Okay, since, um, okay, first of all, you kena tahu dulu juga the electron number untuk titanium atom. Okay, so since titanium atom is a natural atom, therefore, the electron number of titanium atom will be just the same as the proton number or the atomic number of titanium atom. So, untuk TI um, titanium atom, dia ada sebanyak 22 electrons. Okay. So, if you look at the alpha principle and if you start fill the electrons up, you will know that you need to fill it from the 1s but, and then memang tak cukup lah 1s. So, sebab 1s ada 2 electron, then you can move to the 2s. So, you will have 2s2. And then 2p, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Okay, bila 3p6, dah ada berapa electron so far? Okay, yang ni 10. And then 2, 4, 6, 8. So, ada 18. You need 22. So, bila tak cukup, you kena pinjam NG level yang sebelah, which is 4s. Bukan 3d ya, 4s. So, you isi 4s, barulah. 3D2. Okay. Next. Bila let's say you nak tulis the SPDF notation. Uh, the ground state electronic configuration untuk TI atom. So that means you kena tulis dalam bentuk SPDF notation lah. Okay. So you start from 1S, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D2. Okay. Uh, so for S2, 3D2 Memanglah disusun macam ni And you will wonder Macam bila you bila TI2 plus Kenapa TI2 plus? Why is it Dia ada charge 2 plus? Because why? Because dia Lose electron Okay Dia dapat charge 2 plus Because dia donate Dia hilang Sebanyak 2 electron Okay Tapi Bila let's say you nak remove, okay, what is special about this um, question yang B ni? Specialnya, special kalau let's say melibatkan 4S dengan 3D ni, okay. Memanglah bila you nak isi, you isi dekat 4S dulu. Baru 3D, kan? Isi 4S dulu baru 3D. But apparently, bila you nak remove the electron, you need to remove it same from 4S baru 3D. Uh, kalau ikutkan, kalau ikutkan case um, biasa-biasa saja. kalau let's say you ada 3S, 3P, kalau let's say you ada, you nak remove elektron yang ada 3S dengan 3P saja, you remove lah dekat 3P dulu, baru 3S. Tapi, this is special thing ya, yeah. specialnya, kalau let's say you ada 4S dengan 3D ni, okay, kalau nak isi elektron, memang you kena isi elektron di 4S dahulu, baru 3D. Tapi, if let's say you nak remove electron, you kena remove from the 4S first, then 3D. Okay. Since the I, since you have the I 2 plus here, you have the I 2 plus here, therefore, you need to remove 2 electron. So, remove dulu dekat 4S, baru 3D. Faham? Okay. So, therefore, the SPDF notation untuk TI2 plus will be 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6 and 3D2. Alright? Okay, next try this. 
please arrange the following orbitals according to increasing energy level. Okay, kalau nak arrange the the key point here ialah please follow the apal principle. Okay, memanglah you dapat px, py, pz tapi the key here ialah 4d, 3d, okay. 4p, 3p, 3p, 2p, uh, 1s, 2s, 3s. Okay, so kalau ikut kalau alpha principle, you kena isi daripada 1s, lepas tu 2s, and then 2p, 3s, and so on, right? Okay, tapi kat sini apa yang terlibat adalah 1s, 2s, 3s, 2py, 3py, 3pz, and you have um, 3D XY, 3D YZ, 4PZ, 4D XY. Okay. So, kalau you ikutkan alpha principle, you should know how to susun the energy level first, which is starting from 1S. Then, move on to 2S. And then, 2PY. And then, you have 3S. And then, you have 3P. Y. 3PZ. Kenapa I bubur koma instead of I write less than? Because this belongs at the same. They are the same energy level. Dia ada the ranking di situ. Same energy level. Okay. So, 3PY, 3PZ, 3P dah, 2P pun dah. 3S. Okay. And then, lepas tu, barulah 4S kan? Lepas 4S, tapi tadi 4S kat sini, you cut to 3D, which is you have 3D, XY, 3D, YZ. Uh, I letak koma sebab dia same energy level. And next sila, lepas 3D, um, barulah um, 4P, kan? 4PZ, and last one ialah 4D, XY. Tak muat pula. Tapi you know what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, for the last one, I will let you to do this on your own and I will check it out on your tutorial session, okay?